here we are. <laughs> our final Friday, our final morning session like this. First of all, if you're one of those that have taken time out of this past 21 days and you've taken time to just sit down and, and watch this two or three kind of morning motivation thing, man, thank you. Uh, my heart was just to kind of encourage you sometimes, especially man, day seven, 10, 12, those are hard days. And just to kind of bring a fresh reminder, um, it's so much more than just giving up meats and sweets and saying no to social media. Um, man, those, 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 are, those are diets. This is a spiritual renewal. And that's kind of the trip and the journey we're on. And I've, I've, I've seen, I, I mean, I, there were some things that came and just told Jerry, I go, man, I just, I don't think outside of a 21 days of prayer and fasting, those answers would have come like that. You've had stories too. You've seen God move over this, this last season. Would you, would you do us a favor? I personally want to read, hear those stories. So up on the screen is prayer at hillspring.tv. That's an email address that if you it doesn't have to be long, don't have to be pages. If you want to, you certainly can, but take just a minute and, and send us an email, prayer at hillspring.tv of how you have seen God move in this season of reset as we march into a new year. And man, today is about celebration. You know what I'm saying? Oh Lord, my God, you have performed many, many wondrous works for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. God, you have no equal. So let's let's celebrate. Let's stop and take stock of the things you were praying for. And maybe you didn't get the physical answer, but you got the faith to get you through the next day or through the next season until you get that answer. Or maybe you've got clarity or, or maybe you're just got to, I, I, I just need some clarity on, on what to do in this situation. God, there is no equal. We stop and we celebrate today what you have done. But guys, with anticipation, we're looking into what the next season happens because we've planted seeds here. We've prayed prayers. And, and Pastor Matt will say this, and I, maybe the Spirit of God spoke it to him, but today at Hill Spring Church, we are living in answered prayers to prayers we prayed 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And that same is true for this 21 days of prayer and fasting. In the coming season with anticipation, I believe you're gonna live out, you're gonna see God bring some of those answers to your prayers. So sometimes uh, we get some conversation of what does that 21st day look like? Because people will break the fast in, in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I would say if you're doing something like a social media, um, I, I would wait till that 22nd day. Uh, but sometimes with, with food fasting, like if you're Daniel fasting or something, then at some, you know, Jesus was in the tomb for three days. Well, he was buried on Friday in the tomb all day Saturday and then was resurrected on Sunday morning, but it counted for part of the day. Typically what we do doesn't mean we're right, wrong, or indifferent, but the Kellogg's either uh, a late afternoon or that typically that evening meal, we will break that fast and have myself a cheeseburger or some beef fajitas or what have you. But I would give some part of that 21st day, you're still a part of it, but at some point later in the day, break the fast with anticipation of what God's gonna do. Hey, if you've done this, thank you. I've, I've never seen a season where the family of Hillspring Church was so energized and thirsty and hungry for the things of God. And I believe we're moving into a season of revival where God's gonna do some greater things. Lord, we love you. Thank you. God, thank you for the answers you've already given. Lord, I thank you for the, the words that are gonna come in. Folks are gonna share the stories of how you have moved over this past 21 days. In this season of anticipation, God, we're looking to you. Our eyes are looking up. Our faith has been built and we're excited to see your hand move among us. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you Sunday morning.